Hello and welcome back to Coin Matters channel. For the most recent CBDC Innovate Challenge, Ripple teamed up with fintech experts in the field of financial technology. But let's not overlook the most pressing issue. Is the SEC's action against Ripple motivated by something else? Today's video will discuss the prospects for XRP, so pay attention since this is information you won't want to miss. If you're new here, the best way to stay up to date with all of our uploads and enter our contest is to subscribe to the channel and enable post alerts by clicking the bell. Remember, this is not a video offering financial guidance. Unexpectedly, crypto community members have rallied behind Patrick L. Riley, CEO of a famous crypto startup who has announced his campaign for the U.S. presidential election. As Artists Rags Yard showcases the speed of XRPL and its potential as a game changer in the realm of NFTs, Cryptocurrency Daily has helped to feed the hype surrounding XRP. However, the question of whether or not XRP is actually undervalued remains open. If you're interested in delving into these fascinating tales, stay with me to the conclusion. Famous cryptocurrency firm Ripple Labs has relaunched its central bank digital currency Innovate Challenge. This program is meant to encourage the creation of various uses for CBD. Individuals and businesses with an interest in the fintech and payments industries are encouraged to submit their ideas for CBDC applications that make use of Ripple's enterprise services. Notably, $200,000 is being offered as a prize pool by Ripple. Because it's a challenge. There are two parts to the CBDC Innovation Challenge. The first step requires participants to create a program that runs on the public XRP ledger. Beginning on May 15th, 2023, the filing period for this round of CBDC applications will run through August 18th, 2023. The judging process for 2023 will begin on August 21st and continue through September. The panel of judges will include Representatives from organizations such as the Digital Euro Association, MasterCard, the Bank of Finland, Amazon Web Services, POCBIS, and DXC Technology. The creative projects will be judged, and the finalists will be announced between September 6th and 8th, 2023. The first round's top finishers will move on to the next stage, where they'll work on creating applications for Ripple's private CBDC platform. The current round submission deadline is October 31, 2023. As for when the most creative answers will be chosen, Ripple will let everyone know. Notably, Ripple is actively interacting with central banks throughout the world, including the Apex Bank of Montenegro, to learn more about their objectives and investigate how the CBDC platform may help them succeed. Digital Euro Association DAO's white paper even credits Anthony Ralphs, Ripple's director of CBDC product management. Let's move on to the SEC's legal battle with Ripple. Conspiracy theories have circulated widely, claiming that the whole judicial struggle was staged. Still, XRP advocate and eminent attorney John E. Deaton has denied these allegations, pointing out that he and 76,000 other XRP investors wouldn't be involved if there was a secret plot deed, and he's also made it clear that he's never filed a motion to intervene in the United States, which is where individual investors typically ask to be named as defendants in a lawsuit. After Ripple spent over $200 million defending itself and Coinbase delisted XRP, he reaffirmed that the continuing legal struggle between the SEC and Ripple is legitimate. And the Kraken is the proof. Deaton vowed to keep fighting to the end, and he urged his fellow crypto enthusiasts not to give up in frustration and give the bad guys the victory. Although some have hypothesized that the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple was a sham, others disagree. Despite claims to the contrary by the CEO of a company called Cypress Demon Incorporation and a brokerage firm called CYPRX. Superior Trading, Dominant Core brought up the fact that Ripple Chairman Chris Larson was listed as a speaker at a recent digital asset-related event in California. Other speakers at the event included representatives from major financial institutions such as JP Morgan, R3, MasterCard, Morgan Stanley, HSBC, and Citi. 
In a stunning change of events, Australian-based lawyer Bill Morgan disagreed, arguing that Larson's inclusion as a speaker was warranted because waves contributed to institutional acceptance within the digital asset area. In the run-up to the presidential elections in 2024, Patrick L. Riley, CEO of Reaper Financial and chairman of the BOC Oversight Committee, declared his intention to run for president. In a tweet, Riley announced the announcement and vowed to make blockchain and other tech-driven solutions a focal point of American politics. His announcement as a candidate has caught the attention of leaders in the crypto community. Riley has tagged major cryptocurrency exchanges, including Coinbase, Gemini, and Ripple CEO and CTO, Brad Garlinghouse and Pro XRP's lawyer, John Deaton, in his announcement, though it is unclear what reaction he expects from the tagged individuals. Riley's candidacy is seen by proponents of cryptocurrencies as a chance to usher in sweeping changes to the global economy and the state of the art in terms of technology. Rags Yart, an artist well known for her collaborations with NFTs on Ethereum, Polygon, and BNB, recently shared her thoughts on the potential of the XRP ledger as the community debates whether XRP is undervalued. Among the many benefits Rags Yart cited was the XRPL's lightning fast transaction processing. She stated her opinion that XRP is now cheap and emphasized the importance of Ripple's victory in the SEC lawsuit by claiming it would drive the price of XRP upward. The Rags Yards report has generated excitement in the XRP community, with many participants betting that the combination of Ripple's legal triumph and the unprecedented speed of the XRPL will propel the cryptocurrency into the future. In conclusion, the crypto community is paying close attention to Ripple's involvement in the CBDC Innovative Challenge, the ongoing SEC vs. Ripple litigation, Patrick L. Riley's presidential campaign, and rags your insights on XRP. These changes may affect how the legal battle is seen in the future, how blockchain technology is used in politics, and how much XRP is worth. Guys, I'm afraid that's all we can offer you for now. What do you make of XRP? Participate and tell us what you think in the comments section. Please show your appreciation for this video by giving it a big thumbs up if you found it entertaining. If you like this video and want to stay up to date on all the newest developments in the world of XRP and cryptocurrencies, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the icon below the video and activating the notification feature. Watch our previous videos on XRP and other cryptocurrencies to tide you over till the next one is released. We appreciate you tuning in and hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.